Hey guys, this is Mick from Tech Diffuse, and in this video I will show you the easiest ways to install Python on your system. We start with Debian based Linux systems. So what are we doing here right now is we're typing Python 3 to ensure that we have no Python installed on our system. And this is exactly what the output uh, tells us. So Python 3 command is not found. So the next step is we can list the packages from our operating system to be sure that we really don't have any uh, Python libraries installed. So we're doing this by typing um, apt list minus minus installed and we just grab for Python 3. And um, everything's fine. We see we don't have any Python libraries installed. Uh, we just can ignore the warning for now. It um, has nothing to do with the Python itself, but uh, we are now sure we don't have installed any Python libraries on our system. So once we have ensured we don't have any Python libraries on our system, we can uh, update our libraries. So once we've gotten the newest uh, available lists of packages, we can make an upgrade to them to have the newest versions installed on our system. And now we can install Python 3. We do this by typing apt get install uh, minus y to say yes to everything and um, choose the package Python 3.7. Once the installation is complete, we verify by typing Python 3.7 minus big V for version. Any output confirms we have just installed the latest version of Python. So what do we do now is we install the Python pip library to be able to install further packages, further Python packages later on. So once we have installed Python 3 and the Python 3 pip library, we can change the sim link for Python. And from now on, if we use Python 3, we know that uh, we refer to Python 3.7. The next step is we want to upgrade the pip library from Python 3. So once the upgrade is done, we confirm by typing Python 3 minus n pip minus v and confirm the output for the new Python pip version. And to confirm that pip is working, we install the library with it. For this purpose, I have chosen a popular library called NumPy. NumPy is a mathematical library in Python that we will use later on. So that's about it. We have installed Python, we have installed Python pip, and we successfully installed an additional library with pip. That's it. Everything you know to install Python on a Debian-based operating system. Now I will show you how you install the current Python version under Red Hat-based derivatives. In this example, I used CentOS as the operating system. First, we check if Python 3 is already installed on a system. We do this by simply typing Python 3 in the console. So the output confirms that Python is not currently installed on a system. To be completely sure, we check if we have any Python libraries installed. We do this by typing yum list installed pipe and grab for Python 3. So the expected result is empty. So that's fine. We have no Python installed on our system. In CentOS, you use the yum command, where yum stands for yellow updater modified. For the experts among you, the actual package manager under CentOS is RPM, and yum is just another wrapper for RPM. So we type sudo yum install minus y and the link you see. Once we have successfully added the new repository, we need to update it. This is done with the yum update command. Note, this can take quite some time, usually a few minutes, depending on your internet bandwidth and computational power. As soon as the update has been completed successfully, we can install Python 3. In addition to the main Python library, we will also install some auxiliary libraries such as pip. We already got to know pip from the previous example. Once the installation is complete, we can check that everything has gone through properly. For this, we print the version number of Python by executing the following command. Python 3.6 minus big V. And the expected output looks good. Now we make sure that the Python version we just installed is the current Python version used by our system by changing the symbolic link to it. We test this by calling the new link we have just created. Once we type Python 3 minus V, the expected output is correct. Now we have successfully completed the installation of Python. Since we want to work with other Python packages in the future, we make sure that we have the latest version of pip installed. 
Once the installation is complete, we confirm this by printing out the version number of pip. And the expected output looks good. Finally, we test if we can actually install libraries with pip. For this, we use again the mathematics library of Python with the name NumPy. And that's it. We have just successfully installed a recent version of Python under a Red Hat based Linux system. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of these videos, then leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.